I still remember the day I bought the first telephoto lens from Canon, which was a 500mm f4 IS from the first generation. And around three and a half years ago, I upgraded to this bad boy here, the 600mm f4 from the second generation. And so far I've taken uh, several hundred thousands of images uh, in Switzerland, Spain, Sweden and many other countries. So in this video I just want to share with you a bit my impressions of the lens, what I liked about it, what maybe not and whether I would recommend you buying one as well or maybe something else. <laughs> When I first picked up the lens, I was quite happily surprised about the weight. Um, it weighs 3.92 kilos, which is about 8.6 pounds. And this is more or less the same that my old 500 millimeter was also weighing. And since this looks bigger, maybe I was expecting something heavier, even I knew it was the same weight. And also I think the distribution of the weight is just closer to the camera, so it doesn't feel so heavy in the hand, if this makes any sense. Another nice improvement when coming from the first generation of the 500mm lens was just the bigger maximum magnification because both lenses have a minimum focal distance of 4.5 meters but of course with 600mm your subject will be a bit bigger in the viewfinder than with the 500. As all super telephoto lenses it comes with quite some buttons here. So there is the AF MF switch and the focal limiter which is 45 meter to 16 or 16 to infinity. Um, I use it from time to time but not too often because sometimes I just forget to reset it but for some flight shots or really at the height taking pictures of songbirds it can, can be quite nice. Then on this side here um, there is the image stabilizer on off. You have um, the image stabilization mode 1, 2 or 3 and then there below there is the focus preset which I did not use with my 5D Mark IV or any other DSLR but with mirrorless I find myself using them more and more in certain situations just to avoid some autofocus issues. If you want to use a polarizer or maybe even ND filter um, there is a drop-in filter here. I did never use this so far and as you can see now it's covered by the by the lens coat. Um, coming a bit more to the front we have a huge front element and this is nicely protected of course by the lens hood that I try to keep on for almost all of the time except if it's super windy um, just the lens hood itself I'm still not a big fan of this screw that you need to loosen quite a bit before you can take it off then the lens hood is coming off and for putting it back on you already see I have a bit trouble with one hand so I need to kind of push the lens to my body and then I can fix it again. I'm just wondering if there's not a bit of better solution. It's already an improvement over the first generation of super telephoto lenses, but still I'm not 100% happy. And then finally we have the lens foot. And as you can maybe already see, this is not the original one. I replaced this, I think maybe half a year ago and it was a super good decision. I should have really done it earlier because the original one is not having an Arca Swiss so for mounting to the tripod I needed to put a big plate um, which just made the whole lens a bit heavier, bulkier. I could not get as low anymore so this was a good investment and in my opinion a bit a pity that Canon is not directly delivering a lens foot with Arca Swiss mount. And the lens color can be easily turned and you can hear the click when you basically get in the 90 degree at every 90 degree angle so you have like four clicks and there is a bit more resistant which is super nice to quickly go back to the let's say straight version. I mentioned that the weight of the lens is similar to my old 500 millimeter lens but the dimensions are clearly not so at the diameter is around 16.8 centimeters at the largest place and the length is a whopping 44.5 centimeters. So this was a bit an issue in the backpack. 
Um, I could not fit it in my smallest backpack anymore and right now I'm using the f-stop Tilopa and there it works but if you put some other lenses and cameras it can get quite tight and if you don't pack it properly you can feel it a bit in the back and what was really helping here again was replacing the lens foot this was the main reason why I replaced the lens foot it just fits a bit better because it gives the whole lens a bit a smaller overall profile so how was the lens performing in the real world well, the first thing I noticed coming from my old 500mm was how much better the image stabilizer is. And this holds true no matter from which lens of the first generation of super telephoto lenses, so 400, 500 or 600, to the second generation you go. And I knew this because I was able to lend the 400mm f2.8 second generation from a friend of mine and compared it to my old 500 and I really noticed the difference in uh, image stabilization and this was actually one of the main reasons I bought this lens because I am not so a big fan of using the tripod I prefer to shoot handheld I feel just in most situations more flexible so the image stabilizer is for one thing of course allowing me a longer uh, shutter speed on the other hand it's also helping with the AF to keep more on the target if I'm not moving my lens around too much if this can be a bit compensated. What I also notice especially if I'm in a quite peaceful and quiet environment or if I'm taking videos is that the sound of the image stabilizer is not as loud as the one on the first generation anymore but I need to say you can still hear it and there are some lenses that are definitely better than this one. If we spend so much money on a telephoto lens, we of course want that it's delivering really crisp images. And of course the 600mm f4 did not disappoint here. I had the feeling the images were generally a bit sharper than one of my 500mm f4. Even though the 500mm f4 was already producing super nice images. But especially when coupling it with an extender, the 1.4 or even the 2 point extender, I just had the feeling with this lens I'm getting a bit more consistent results. Um, maybe it's also communicating a bit better with the autofocus, but I was on one side since I had now 600mm using the extenders a bit less, but in these situations where I wanted to use the extenders, I was not hesitating so much and thinking about potential drawbacks. You might now wonder why I was switching from a 500mm lens to a 600mm. Um, it's basically just exactly that, the extra focal length that in bird photography I find in many situations welcome. And for the old generation the 600mm f4 was just too heavy to handhold for me. This was feasible so I decided to make the jump to 600mm. And I was really happy about it because if I was taking pictures of some shyer birds this 600mm really paid off. And I also noticed that the depth of field is even more shallow with the 600mm f4, which of course makes sense and is super helpful in these situations where the background is just not as smooth or as far away as you would like it to be. So was the upgrade worth it for me? I think definitely yes. There were quite some images I could not have taken with my 500mm f4 or with that significant hint in uh, image quality or even the image look. Since I like to do bird photography so much and this is my clearly my most used lens i do not regret the, res the decision at all however there are some still some, some small things i think could be improved um, here i'm not so sure about the optics how easy this is but what i realized when shooting birds in winter in the snow is that if you shoot at f4 the vignetting is still quite visible of course you can correct for this in post but i would also not say no if a future lens would already be a bit better at this and I already mentioned before that I'm still not 100% happy with the lens hood. Um, also in case you break this and I managed to do this with my old lens unfortunately the lens hood fell off when trying to mount it. Uh, it was uh, kind of distorted afterwards and the new one is almost thousand francs or US dollars. Uh, I mean this is crazy so for me this is something that really could be improved and while this lens is significantly lighter than the first generation 600 mm f4 it is still heavy if you handhold it for a long time if you go hiking for several hours or even if you want to take it as a carry-on luggage on the plane so of course in this sense further weight reductions would be highly welcome but actually Canon already did this in the third generation of the 600 mm lens or the optically identical RF version of the 600mm lens. So why didn't I buy the third generation of the EF 600mm lens? Um, the thing was that 
when I bought this lens I just had finished my studies. I was doing a teaching diploma aside so I could only work part-time. I had a small part-time job so money was a concern and I of course sold my old 500mm f4 and I bought this 600mm f4 of the second generation used meaning in the end the kind of upgrade price I needed to pay was around 4,000 francs or dollars which is still some money but compared to the 9 to 10,000 that I would have needed to pay um, when upgrading to a third generation of the EF lenses this is quite a steep increase and I wanted to go to a two-month trip to Norway and Sweden with a friend uh, which we actually did and this was one of the reasons I bought this lens because I somehow wanted to get the maximum out of the trip but on the other hand I also wanted to have enough money to go on this trip and I think this whole story in general spending money on trips on vacation for me at least is worth more than spending the equivalent on gear at least in most of the times so can I recommend this lens Absolutely, I still love it. Uh, just if you have never used a big telephoto lens before, I would maybe check out if you can somehow from a friend or a local dealer get one for a day and try it out a bit because it can be quite heavy and maybe if you don't like to handle hold it for so long and you feel that this is just too much, maybe you would be happier with the third generation. But I think for the second one you can find some pretty good deals on, uh, yeah, on second hand lenses of the second generation. Am I actually planning to upgrade to the RF version as well? Um, no, at the moment at least not. For me the weight savings is super nice, but again it's a lot of money. Of course there are also some other uh, improvements, like a bit of better image stabilizer, the autofocus will be a bit better. But in terms of image quality this is already top notch, there is basically no improvement to the 600mm of the, well, the RF version. What I would really like to see from Canon is a 600mm with an integrated 1.4 extender like they already did it in the 200-400mm to f4 or now Nikon did it with the 400mm 2.8 um, I think this for me would be more like would feel more like a game changer and there I would be yeah, willing to spend a bit more money to upgrade but yeah this is wishful thinking but maybe someday it comes true